The Diagram module of Modern Requirements facilitates users to create their data flows and process models online. Let's go ahead and create a new diagram. Here we can create different types of diagrams. We can create basic flowcharts, BPMN diagrams, swim lane diagrams, as well as UML diagrams directly from this interface. But right now, we're going to make a basic flowchart, and we will name it Login Flowchart. Once we have named the diagram, we can hit Create. A diagram is now created. However, our canvas is still empty despite us having selected a stencil. If we look on the right in the Shapes menu, we can see that our basic flowchart elements are already present. If we selected a BPMN diagram stencil, we would have had the BPMN nodes to build our diagram with. Now to build the diagram, users can drag objects from the stencils to the canvas. Once you bring a node to the canvas, you can name it. Let's label it Start. Now this node can be resized using these arrows. You can also reposition it anywhere in this canvas. If diagram you want further control over this individual node, you can drag over this style menu and expand it. Here, you can change things like the name of the node. We will call it Start Process. You can also bold and change the font of the text and increase its size. Let's go ahead and change the background color of this node. Once you have made the changes, you can minimize this styling menu and move it out of the way. When you're diagramming in modern requirements, there are three ways to connect different objects. To illustrate, let's go ahead and bring in another object from the basic flowchart and place it underneath start process. Let's name our object login. Once we have labeled the object, we can go ahead and connect these two objects together. The first way is simple. Select the start node. Use the line tool and drag it down to where we can connect that node. Now these two objects are connected. If you select the connector, you can also delete it. The second way to connect two nodes is also simple. If you are trying to choose a particular starting point, click the connector button. You can now go ahead and select the connectors. In this way, you can choose the starting point and the destination point easily. Now these two nodes are connected. The third way does not involve the line tool at all. When you are building a diagram, select a node and make sure it remains selected when you drag an object from the stencils. If you bring that node close to an existing node, those two nodes will be automatically connected. So those are the three ways in which you can connect objects in a diagram. Now let's go ahead and label our object. Let's call it Checkout. The diagramming tool also allows you to put text or labels anywhere on the canvas to give more information about your diagram. Let's open our text tool here. Go ahead and add a label. We will label it flowchart for login process. Once we have done that, click outside the element to confirm. If you click on this label now with these arrows, you can resize it. You can also reposition it anywhere in this canvas. Let's place it here. Now that you have your label, you can bring over the styling menu and change this label. Let's say we bold this title. We can also increase the size of the font. Once we have done that, we can change the color of the font. We will pick this one. Now the color of the font is updated. Once the changes have been made to this title, we can minimize it and move away the style menu. Here are a few handy tips when you are building a diagram. Let's select our checkout object and bring in another object from the basic flowchart. These two nodes will connect automatically. Now we can resize it. Let's say you have to reuse this node every single time. You can use the copy and paste option from the ribbon bar on the top. 
You can also use typical window keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl C and Ctrl V to easily duplicate that node. So let's do Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Here we can link them automatically and build our diagram very quickly. This allows us to keep building processes. We have now reorganized the diagram we started to create by moving the label up on the top and adding in additional pieces that were missing from our original diagram. Let's go ahead and finish it off. In this case, we are linking the start node again to the login node. You can also label your connectors. So let's say you want to label connectors that are flowing from the payment success decision box. We will call this FVS. Once we have labeled that, we will bring our style menu and expand it. Now we can bold this and increase its size so it's more visible. Once we have done that, we can minimize it. For the alternate flow, we can label it if no. From the style menu, we can bold it and increase the font size. Now this looks more visible in the diagram. Let's minimize it and move this style menu. Now let's wrap this up. We will label this object using our style menu. We're naming it Checkout. Once we have provided the label, we can make it bold and increase the font size as well. We can also change the background color here. Once we have done that, we will minimize the style menu and move it over. This is how we can create diagrams in the diagram module of Modern Requirements. This brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching.